A Guinness is great, but do you know that it works great in cocktails too? This is the Guinness Flip. You know, two things I don't need an excuse to do is drink rum or drink Guinness. But this drink allows me to do both. It is the Guinness Flip that we're going to be making today. It is just one in a series of drinks that I'm making for St. Patrick's Day. And if you are looking for that, there is a playlist that you can click on down in the description below. Anything that I've made so far for St. Patrick's Day, anything that I'm going to make for St. Patrick's Day, it's there. So whether you're Irish or not, whether you want to feel Irish, that is the place to go. Now this drink features Guinness. Guinness Stout. Uh, it is one of the most popular stouts there is. Most cocktails you see with it involve chugging it like an Irish car bomb, something like that. And that's not what this is about. This is a nice, cool drink. Um, a little complex, though. So if you're not quite ready for it, you might want to check out some of the other ones first. But enough blabbering. Let's, you know, put together the cocktail. I'm going to be starting off with some liquor, some rum, a nice dark rum. Uh, this is Plantation. Plantation Five Year. I like this stuff. It's a great price. Very much, you know, easy to find. So, you know, any nice dark rum will do. However, I'm using the Plantation. And it is going to be two ounces of our dark rum into a shaking tin. And normally you don't see rum in uh, St. Patrick's Day cocktails, but uh, you know what? It, it gives it a nice dimension. So next we are going to be breaking out simple syrup. Simple syrup is a one-to-one -one sugar to water ratio. And uh, for this, it's going to add a little sweetness to our cocktail. It'll be three quarters of an ounce. So three quarters ounce into the shaker tin. Now this is where kind of people get turned off a little bit. It's an egg. Yes, people get turned off by this. Uh, normally I use egg whites in drinks for texture. This flip actually is going to use a whole egg, so I'll put that in there. Uh, try not to get any shell. You don't want a crunchy drink. The flip uses the egg. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, then uh, this might not be the drink for you. All right, and I also want to just kind of squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. One lemon wedge. Uh, the original recipe I found called for you to squeeze it and throw it in the drink as a garnish. I don't like to use a spent lemon wedge as a garnish, so we're not doing that. So a lot of times with egg, we're going to dry shake this. This is no different. We're going to dry shake, meaning no ice. You want to put this centered right over the top, give it a nice whack with your palm of your hand. And we're going to turn this over and shake it with no ice. And hopefully I don't make a mess. What this is going to do is help break up the egg, help kind of emulsify it. See, it's kind of coming out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. I really thought for a second I was going to get it all over me. It kind of popped loose. So at this point, it's time to add ice and do a normal shake. So a little bit of ice. Nice spoonful into the tin. And same thing, we're just going to give it a little whack and uh, shake it up. You should really shake this pretty vigorously. I mean, I'm a little tired after that, to be honest with you. Oh, man, what a wuss. All right, so, got a glass here, a nice little rocks glass. You want to strain this off, and it should fill most of it up. 
a little room at the top here. I think I have too much left. Uh, doesn't need to be any ice in it. We're going to take our Guinness and just top that off with some nice cold Guinness. Yeah. Cheers. And uh, I like to garnish it with a nice lemon. Uh, like I said, the original recipe called for just a squeeze over top, throw the spent lemon in there. I would rather just garnish it with one. But this is how you make a Guinness flip. The whole time I'm looking at this drink, I'm just thinking, man, this looks so good. I was taking pictures of it. I hope it's good. I almost just want to keep looking at this drink. It looks so cool. Um, hopefully it tastes cool as well. Mm. That is interesting. This is complex. This drink is really complex. This is one where the rum, you know, as much as is in this drink, with the egg and the simple syrup, you would think some of the rum flavor gets covered up, but I'll tell you what, this is a good drink for a nice rum to shine. I'm not talking about trotting out your best rum, but something solid with a nice flavor would work really well in this particular drink. It's slightly sweet. A lot of the rum is present there. You get that little bit of stout at the end um, and it has a, a somewhat semi-sweet finish. Mm, this is uh, very, very delicious. It's got a creamy texture to it, um, most likely from the egg. That's what you're going to get by adding an egg to it. Uh, yeah, this one's a win. This one's a big win. It's probably one of the best drinks that I've made in a while. But, if you want to see more of my drinks, what I've made for St. Patrick's Day and beyond then click down below the subscribe button. There's a bell icon, that way you're going to get notified anytime I post some new drinks. Because this is the year I get to 100 cocktails in 2020. So uh, you don't want to miss any more than you have to. Click down below. Do not forget. Anywho, I'm going to finish this cocktail and uh, drink what's left of my Guinness. Because there's no way I'm wasting that. So, I want to thank you for watching this, and remember that if this idiot can do it, so can you. Cheers.